With the new Simrad NSX, the ability to set up and control your alarms is a great feature because it allows you to set up where you want those alarms to go off, how you're gonna turn them off. It gives you the ability to silence them while you're underway. So let's walk through setting up those alarms, setting up your values, and what you're gonna do to control them. To add an alert or an alarm, you're gonna hit your home page, then you're gonna go into settings. And you notice we have a tab called alerts. When we do that, we can see whether our siren is enabled, meaning that we get an audible alarm if we've selected that as the alert. We also now see under the categories how many alerts or alarms we have set up. So if we want to add, we simply hit add alert. We can either type in our search engine. So if we wanted deep water or you know, we could start typing in deep and it's going to tell you there's a deep water alarm and we can add it. It does fall under the general category. So now we can go find that deep water alarm. We can change that setting. Maybe we only want to see 70 feet before that alarm goes off. And then we can say how it's going to alarm. So what I mean by that is we have the ability to set up a notification, which means it just sits on your screen for 15 seconds and goes away. A warning, which again just pops up on your screen and stays there until you remove it by checking it, saying this to silence or swiping it to the right, or an alarm that shows up on your screen to you, you'll acknowledge it, as well as throwing an audible alarm. So not only can you set up the alert, you can set up how it shows or represented on the NSX. Now once we've set them up, things have been going off or we want to see what's happened in the past, we can go to alert history. And this now shows you those alarms as they've appeared. You can go and remove them all and start that almanac all over. So remember we set that depth alarm for 70 feet. So now that deep water alarm comes on and now remember it stays on the screen until we either hit the mute or slide it to the right. So we hit mute, it disappears, but you'll notice that you have that yellow circle with the one in it, telling you there's one alert that is there. And now when you go in, you'll always see that alert pop up in the home page. So now you can go in, manipulate that by touching the three dots or by clearing that alert or alarm. But if you want to continue on working with the screen, you can simply hit X, hide that, and keep moving on through your menu. So now if we want to delete or change that alarm, we simply go into our settings. We can go down, find that alarm, and again, either change the value or completely delete it. 